if a machine is going to become generally intelligent, much surpassing anything that any human can ever do, we will not be able to control it. Because that's the nature of intelligence. People that have more intelligence control the others that don't. That's why we are more intelligent than the chimpanzees. In a way, you could say the best thing we could hope for at that point, when, it, when it's basically everywhere, is that this AI would not develop an agenda. But the worst thing that could happen is that it doesn't need an agenda. We could just have a misunderstanding. <laughs> like I always say, halfway jokingly only, solve climate change, okay, we say to the AI. The AI says, you know, humans are the number one problems. So for climate change, we get rid of all of them, problem solved. And this is the alignment problem. Not that it would have the means to do so today, but imagine if that AI was part of every network. It could manipulate us to fulfill that objective. And the other thing is that's really scary. As many AI developers will tell you, we don't know what goes on inside of that system. It is a black box. We don't understand how it makes up stuff. We just know it makes them up well. Okay, so the more we feed into that system, the bigger the black box gets. And then we really don't know if A, we understand it, and B, if we can still control it. So that is the existential threat that would be upon us in 2030 or so, not now. So no matter how you look at it, everything that's important to us, banking, financial, oil and gas, media, is regulated. But this is not. Social media is not regulated, and look what it has done. It has created a toxic landscape that's the demise of democracy, even though it does many good things too. <laughs> you know? So the mission has to be to take the good things and make sure they can play out, for example, more efficiency, uh, uh, more time for myself, smarter doctors, better healthcare, AI development of pharma, and so on. And at the same time, control the potential externalities, the side effects, the negative effects. But nobody will do that voluntarily unless there is something that says, you know, when you're doing this, you also need to look at the side effects. And this is not going to happen if we don't have guidelines, social contracts, regulation, supervision, a council, like I've been proposing. Because companies, huge international companies, especially Chinese companies too, they are going to look at, okay, I'm going to make one trillion if I do this. And if I go with the ethics thing, you know, put sand in the gearbox, I make a hundred billion. And, and, and nobody's going to know if they do it or not. So that's just not going to work.